Over the past year, a virus known as SARS-CoV-2 has been spreading around the world infecting millions with a disease known as COVID-19. SARS-CoV-2 spreads from person to person through small respiratory droplets produced when someone coughs, talks, sneezes, etc. The virus can enter your body through your eyes, mouth, and nose. After entering your body, the virus travels to your throat and begins to infect cells to reproduce. Each virus has small spike proteins surrounding it. They use these spike proteins as keys by attaching them to the cell's ACE2 receptors in order to enter the cell. After attaching the spike proteins to the ACE2 receptor, the virus can enter the cell. Part of the cell membrane surrounds the virus and keeps it protected as it enters the cell. After entering the cell, the part of the membrane surrounding the virus opens up as well as the virus's membrane. This allows the RNA, the virus's genetic blueprint, to be released. Once released, the RNA is replicated by the Golgi apparatus. After being replicated, the RNA is sent to the ribosomes and the rough ER, where new viral proteins are created. Finally, the virus is assembled and released. A cell is capable of making around 600,000 new viruses with the RNA from just one virus. Within days, your body will become infested with millions of viruses constantly reproducing. This might sound scary, but luckily for you, your body has a built-in defense system called the immune system to help fight off viruses just like SARS-CoV-2 and prevent future infections. But how does your immune system work exactly? To simplify things, your immune system has three different lines of defense. The first line of defense includes all barriers to infection. Body parts like your skin help to keep viruses out of your body. When you touch a surface that just so happens to have SARS-CoV-2 on it, or any virus for that matter, your skin acts as a barrier between your cells and the virus. Sweat contains acids and salts that can kill viruses on the surface of your skin. And even if the virus does manage to get into your eyes or nose or mouth, your body can produce mucus which traps the viruses and prevents infection. But what if you have a cut on your hand or arm and that the virus can get in through? Well fortunately, your immune system is prepared for this too, with its second line of defense, the inflammatory response. Whenever your immune system detects any cuts or tissue damage, blood is released, allowing phagocytes to engulf and destroy pathogens. Okay, well, say the virus has gotten past your first two lines of defense and has begun to infect cells in your throat. Well, what happens now? Well, your immune system has a third line of defense that it can use against the virus, the specific immune response. When phagocytes engulf the viruses, they send messengers to present the antigen and after about three days of infection, your body can release T and B cells to attack the virus. Your body can create two different types of T cells, killer T cells and uh, helper T cells. Killer T cells kill off viruses while helper T cells create B cells and they create antibodies. Antibodies are Y-shaped proteins that attach to the virus's spike proteins and making them unable to attach to the ACE2 receptors on cells and infect them. Once the viruses are unable to infect cells, they clump up and your immune system's phagocytes can engulf and destroy them. However, some people's immune systems are too weak to fight off viruses such as SARS-CoV-2 and mild throat infections can turn into more serious lung infections if the viruses are able to travel down from your throat to your lungs. Normally, oxygen is able to move freely through your lungs into small sacs called alveoli and into your bloodstream. However, in the case of a serious coronavirus infection, your alveoli can fill with fluid in an attempt to fight off the viral infection in your lungs. This can cause pneumonia and make it very difficult to breathe, and in some cases, it can even result in death. So, how can we stop this from happening in the first place? Apart from the social distancing and mask wearing, there is one great way to prevent a severe COVID infection, and that is with a vaccine. A vaccine is one of, if not the best way to prevent a COVID infection. A vaccine exposes your body to a weakened version of SARS-CoV-2 or any other virus depending on the vaccine. The weaker virus is unable to cause an infection, but is able to cause an immune response. After fighting off the weakened version of the virus and creating antibodies, your immune system creates memory cells which remember the virus's spike protein shape so that if you ever get exposed to SARS-CoV-2, your immune system will be ready to fight it off. So, now you know all about how viruses can infect your cells and how your immune system is able to fight them off and how vaccines work. 
And while the COVID-19 pandemic is a rather scary thing to think and hear about, it is important that we know what to do in times like these and how to keep ourselves and those around us safe. Thank you for watching and uh, goodbye.